Hi, I'm Kelly Knickerbocker and I'm back at Mosaic Arts Online to talk to you about fundamento, which is my take on the word andamento, which means the shape and the direction and the flow of lines in a mosaic or just of tesserae, the pieces in a mosaic. Okay, so we are going to, in this course, we're going to go through three different types of andamento and how to shape the pieces, why it matters, what kind of flow we can get. We're gonna talk about random versus directional. The directional, the linear andamento is here, definitely has lines. And then also random andamento, the squares and rectangles and the circles. Okay, so we're gonna deal with all of that. We're going to talk about order of construction, like how do you build these on Dementi? And we're gonna go from design, a very simple design, and we're gonna talk about how to think through your flow, and then how to uh, shape your tesserae to get that flow, and then to build that out, okay? Order of construction within sections, order of construction section to section, okay? How to design lines, how to transfer our design to the substrate, um, how to construct the lines themselves, how to keystone these curves, okay, to shape the pieces to go well around a curve. And I'm going to give you a foolproof trick for that. So you never have to worry what those angles should be. You'll always get them right. And we're going to talk about splitting one line into two and emphasizing tricks to emphasize directional lines. So there's a lot that we're going to be covering. We're also going to be talking about the efficiency of pre-processing your materials. If you're working all with squares and rectangles, you process a whole bunch of those ahead of time. We mix a variety of sizes, a variety of sizes of circles, a variety of sizes of squares, and a variety of uh, sizes, shapes, and colors in our sections, okay? So um, these are ways to make each section more interesting. So we're gonna go through all of that start to finish by building this simple design. Um, we're gonna accommodate curvature in a square on Demento. We're gonna work how, learn how to work smart, how to do the hardest parts first and then work out from there uh, so that we have um, we have a smooth construction order. Okay, so that's we're going to cover all of that. We're going to get through it, and we're going to build this beautiful mosaic. And when we're done, you will understand how to do these three different types of andamento successfully. Let's go. Kelly Knickerbocker, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online and bringing one of your most solid courses. Here. Happy to be back. Oh, we're so happy to have you and add this to our <laughs> library. And if this doesn't teach people how to create different versions of On Demento, nothing will. And I have <laughs> learned from you from this course so much in the past. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited that we can share this with our students now, especially beginners, intermediates, everybody. This is a whole new take. So dive in a little bit about all the three different ways that you teach in this uh, mm -hmm. course. So it's one of those things that it kind of seems simple, but it's uh, um, it's a little bit more complicated uh, when you actually sit down to like work with all squares and rectangles or all circles. Um, it, it, that's pretty. That's pretty simple, right? You don't have to do that much shaping. Right. But in actuality, um, there's a lot to know about how to make that successful and like how to co accommodate curvature in a square on Demento, yes. or how to accentuate direction in a linear on Demento, or what do I need to think about to make a really interesting interesting but um, uh, but but harmonious yes. uh, field of circles, right? So all of that stuff is what we're gonna is what we're gonna deal with here. Yeah, no, and to do the keystoning the way you teach it, mm -hmm. oh, I mean seriously, <laughs> like everyone wants to learn to keystone, but this technique she shows is really foolproof for you for the rest of your mosaic journey, and I can't share it enough. So I'm really excited you brought that. And then yes, people want to make circles all the time, but you make this huge circle with all the little circles and it just works. Yeah, there's some tricks to that and um, I'm going to share them all with you. Yes. And uh, use of materials, um, you know, a lot of different materials but a lot of similarities. So you have that harmony within the difference. And the keystoning technique,
week, it's great. You're never going to wonder again yeah. what your angle should be when you're going exactly. around a curve. You, exactly. We can just foolproof that and you can just zip it out. So yeah, so lots of, we're going to, we're going to tackle all kinds of things as we go through these three on Dementi so that you understand what the role of shaping is, you know, shaping and direction, whether you want, want to do a random on Demento or a directional on Demento, you're going to be able to kick it when you're done with this. And this is all in a lot of different material choices. Like mm -hmm. you brought these materials so mm -hmm. that you can show, yep. especially like in the circle and in the square uh, Demento, how to use all different yeah. kinds of materials no and limits. circles yeah. in your square Demento. I Absolutely. Mean, it really yeah. expands yeah. on so much of where you can go with this. There is no limit once you learn these techniques, what you can use material wise, yeah. adhesive wise, all yeah. of that. And, uh, and to be clear, when we're, we're, we're our technique here is um, direct setting into mortar. So we're gonna, you'll see that too. You'll be learning that. If you're new to that, you'll be getting an education in that too, working with mortar, using your nippers, okay? Two different kinds of nippers, one for burly materials, one for lighter materials. So you'll get a lot of nipper tips too as you watch me work and we just walk through these on Dementi. So there's a lot going on. Yes, I cannot thank you enough for bringing this to <laughs> Mosaic Arts Online. I think our students are very lucky to have it and uh, you are amazing. Oh, thank you, Demi. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be back. Let's go build. Let's do it.